Hello everyone and welcome to the UCSF channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take a look at a post, a blog post, by another expert out there about the five best ukuleles for beginners and the complete buying guide for 2020. All right, so here we go. So finally, you have made up your mind for learning and playing the ukulele, but you have no clue which ukulele to buy. Do you find yourself in the same boat? If yes, then we are going to help you. Well, we are going to guide you on what to look for in a good starter ukulele, and we will share our top five ukulele recommendations with you. So, if, let's start with the beginner ukulele guide. If you're short on time and just want to check ukuleles, you can skip to the best ukulele picks for beginners, and here they are. The first one is Best Concert Ukulele, the Lohanu Ukulele Concert Size Bundle, View on Amazon, the Koroba 15TM Tenor Ukulele, View on Amazon, and the Best Soprano Ukulele, the Lanakai LU21 Soprano Ukulele, View on Amazon. Now let's just talk about these three in general. First of all, the Lohanu. I can't really speak to it. Barry Maz at God Ukulele got a hold of one of them and was not overly impressed. I have contacted the company, asked that they'd be willing to let me review one. They did not get back to me, so that's the first one. Second one, Cordoba. Seems to make a pretty decent ukulele, so I'm, I'm not going to necessarily frown upon that one. And then the third one is the best soprano ukulele. The Lanakai LU21 hasn't been made for at least two years, maybe three. So to have that as your best soprano ukulele brings the entire rest of this post um, in question. So uh, navigate carefully, let's go. Okay, so what do you look for? Okay, first of all, go for go with a solid wood. Okay, no, I don't agree with that. Especially if you're a beginner, you may not want to go with solid wood. It requires more maintenance, you have to worry about it. Um, you also have to worry about uh, storage and all sorts of other so really for a beginner a solid wood ukulele may not be a great idea uh, it would probably be better to do that as a second or third ukulele down the road and in fact the ukuleles i generally recommend to beginners are the ones that are made of either wood and plastic or laminate so that they require less care and maintenance okay second one Expensive is not always better. Absolutely true. Third, size matters. I sort of disagree with this. Um, when it comes to learning ukulele, size matters too. With a bigger ukulele, you'll get a bigger tone, and it will help you to play most of the songs. Not always true. So let's take some examples. The Flight, the TUS series, their um, scale size from nut to saddle is 14 inches, which is one inch away from a general concert ukulele. So you're not talking about a 13 inch ukulele or even a smaller than 13 inch soprano scale, you're talking even further. Also, Barry Maz at Got Ukulele would tell you that sometimes nut width and spacing the strings plays more role of how comfortable something is to play even than the size of the frets. Because as a beginner, you're generally gonna be working on the first five frets, if that, of the ukulele. You're not gonna be playing way down at the top of the frets. You're not going to do that. You're going to be up here by the nut. So you, you have plenty of space with a soprano. So that's kind of scary. scary. So let's continue on here. Initially, people were playing ukulele for fun, but now people are making a living out of it. Well, they have always have been, but that's okay. As the ukulele is getting popular, so many musical brands have joined the bandwagon and they are producing multi-purpose ukuleles. Some of the best ukulele brands for beginners are Kala, Cordoba, Lohanu. You can go for any of these ukuleles from these brands according to your budget, comfort, and skill level. You are missing the boat if you stick with those three brands. And what's funny is in their recommendations, Kala wasn't even one of them. So um, let's keep going here. So our best five ukulele picks for beginners. Number one, the Lohanu Ukulele Concert Size Bundle. Again, I cannot speak to it specifically I will buy one at some point if they don't send me one for review and I'll let you know what I think. But right off the bat, some of the feedback, Barry's overall review of it, I don't think that the Lahanu is necessarily the best. In fact, I would uh, push you towards some other models. If you want a laminate wood concert size ukulele bundle, I would push you towards Enya products. I would push you towards um, the Ranch was actually quite a lovely kit. 
the horse ukulele by lot music was really quite a lovely kit and uh, it's coming up in review here but even the hurricane concert was was very nice and it would be competitive to lahanu uh, for price and for value so just keep that in mind second one the cordoba 15 tm tenor ukulele and i haven't thought too much about tenors but ultimately um I wouldn't say a Cordoba, these are obviously first or second ukuleles, these low-level Cordoba, the 15 models, but I think that there are some better uh, tenor ukuleles out there. I would even suggest looking, for example, at the Aklat Bamboo ukulele instead of the Cordoba. I think it's going to be less expensive. I think you're going to get the kit, a really nice case, and a really nice ukulele. So think, think about that. The Lanakai LU21 Soprano Ukulele. I have not been able to review any of the new Lanakais yet. I keep uh, bugging Rock Clouser, who's their product manager, to help me arrange that. But I have nothing against Lanakai. I've got actually an LU21 here that plays very well. But the LU21, as I mentioned earlier in this video, is not a current model. So I don't know why you'd want to buy a non-current model. The current model of the Lanakai, by the way, yeah, by the way, when Rock came in to Lanakai, he completely trashed the entire Lanakai line that they did and completely remade it. And they all have different letter names. And you can tell because every new Lanakai has two strap buttons on it for starters. Kind of lets you know what's going on or what generation of Lanakai you're looking at. But their current model, I believe, is the MA-S of their entry-level soprano. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you want the soprano ukulele, really where I'd probably push you is the flight TUS models. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, they have a wood top, but an ABS back and sides. They're travel ukulele, they're tough, they're a little bit more space than a traditional soprano, they're affordably priced, and on top of all that, after you've moved on to your second ukulele, that travel ukulele by flight actually becomes something that you can travel with and, and can have a different purpose rather than just hanging on your wall as that was my first ukulele. It can actually still be a ukulele that you use in your kind of flow. The next one here is the Donner Concert Ukulele. And again, I have nothing against Donner either. I would love to review one. I've been trying to reach out to Donner. I know a couple of my friends here on YouTube have been reviewing quite a few Donner products. So I haven't had any luck reaching out to Donner um, at this point. I would love to review some of their products. But so far, my friends like Donner, and the one Donner that I saw in the wild was a instrument that a student brought in uh, when I was teaching middle school, and we were doing ukuleles, and she brought it in, and it looked like a really nice little ukulele. Um, some of the other companies have a step up in the bag department now than the Donners did. Uh, otherwise, their kit is about equal to what you get, and generally the Donners seem to be pretty well put together. So I'm not going to exactly argue with that. And then finally, they have the Kella KA-15S ukulele, which I just reviewed just a couple of weeks ago. You can check out that review here on the Uke Stuff channel. It's not a bad ukulele. I think I gave it a rating of a 4 out of 5 ukulele. It's not bad. But there are probably some better models for the price that you can get. It's a very competitive market. So just keep that in mind, that the Cala isn't bad by any means, but there are some other brands, some other names, models in that same price range that might be just as good. All right, let's just take a look at some of these pros and cons of each of these. Uh, the Lohanu, well-made, lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranties are questionable. The only company that I really know that really 100% stands behind their lifetime warranty so far is Koaloha. And that is in a basically an ukulele that's over a thousand dollars to get into. So yes, they have the OPO line and they also have the Koalana line, but ultimately a full out Koloha is over a thousand dollars. And it's nice to know that you have a lifetime warranty with a purchase like that. Excellent and lovely sound. I think it's gonna be very similar to what you get with others. A perfect choice for beginners at an affordable price. Cons, the ukulele works well for beginners only. I, I don't think that's true either. And you don't need to triple your budget for that. Okay, the Cordoba pros, easy to learn. It's the same as any other instrument. Impressive craftsmanship. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, 
Cordobas are fine, but quite honestly, if you've checked it out, I've done a couple of Cordoba reviews here on this channel. When you look on the inside, they look pretty much like everything else. Premium Aquila strings, that's common on everything. Negative, some issues reported issues with tuning. Like, you need to tweak the tuning frequently. Please, if you are buying an ukulele that's brand new, it is going to stretch. The strings are going to stretch. Now, there are some companies that are shipping strings that say they're Aquila and they're not, and they're not good strings. There are some companies that um, just ship strings that look like Aquilas, but they work just fine. There are others that they're using imitations and they don't work. That could be the case, but it's not it's not the ukulele's fault. It's not the tuner's fault. In that case, it's the string's fault. But you would know that if you've been playing an ukulele for like a week and you've been tuning it and playing it, tuning it and playing it, and it's still not holding at all, then in that case, replace the strings. But even then, it's not the ukulele's fault. All right, the Lanakai LU21. Uh, cheap, good, solid, features an all NATO body. It's not an all NATO body. It's a laminate NATO body at that. And then sharp frets, well, that can be true of any one of these. Cordobas, yes. Calas, yes. Uh, what was the first one? The, the, the Lohanu. The Lohanu, however, has what we call a bound fretboard. So sharp fret ends should never come out of that. That's the only one that, that has that so far. And then tuning issues, again, we just talked about tuning issues. That's, that's not really an argument. Donner, best ukulele for the money. How do you say that? Uh, again, I have nothing against Donner. It could be a great ukulele, but to say that it is the best ukulele for the money over a couple of other models or a bunch of other models is really questionable. Advanced nylon strings, either you have Aquilas or you have something that looks like Aquilas. Otherwise, come on now. All accessory are added, so a complete kit. That's available from a number of vendors. Easy to learn and play. All these are GCEA ukuleles. Cons, you need to tune it often. Seriously, please. All right. Finally, the Cala 15S. Good quality starter kit. Starter kit. Most of them sell without a kit. And if you only if you buy one with a kit, it's because the vendor has added other things to it that don't even match necessarily. Cala does sell some ukuleles, for example, with like a bag. Um, they have a couple of learn to play kits these days, but the Ka 15S is not it. It's just weird. Okay, um, not fairly priced as it is a way cheaper. And I, I don't quite know what that means. That that means that it's cheaper than it ought to be or something like that. Good value for the money maybe is what they want to say. Amazing sound. Yeah, I just reviewed one. It's, it's okay. It's a laminate soprano ukulele that doesn't even have the most zing and pop of the soprano laminate ukuleles that I've worked with. Good value? True, I think it is a good value. And then the cons, some users found that a bag is not of good quality. Quite honestly, most of them don't come with a bag anyway. That's so very weird. So what is the bottom line? Like any other high-end ukuleles, the manufacturers have added nylon gut strings. The starter pack has solved some issue beginners usually face in tuning. Well, we did talk about the fact that some imitation Aquila nylon gut strings, which used to be labeled as such, but usually they don't anymore, some of them don't hold, but still, at this time, if, it, your, if your ukulele won't settle down into its tuning, again, after a week, look at different strings before you, you know, send the whole thing back. Because if you just return it for the same model, you're going to have the same problem. It's going to be the same strings. So, um, okay, so what is the best ukulele for a beginner? The Kala KA-15S from our list. Now, they say that, but at the same time, their top three recommended didn't include that one. Where can you buy one? If you want to do online, you can go to Amazon. Uh, many ukuleles are selling, selling it on Facebook and different platforms. Where can you buy an ukulele? Generally, the rule of thumb is this. If you can buy from a local dealer or if you can buy from an ukulele specialist store, ukulele specialist store in particular will set it up for you as part of your purchase price. So you may pay a couple dollars more, but in the long run, you'll get a better playing ukulele because they'll make sure it's set up right. If you have to buy an Amazon, Enya, Aklot are very safe purchases. And also, I think most of the time you'll be happy with the Flight TUS series that are out there. What is a good ukulele brand? Kella, not even spelled right, Lohanu and Cordoba. 
man, there are so many that are missing out there. Again, Enya, Flight, Ohana. Um, let's see who else. Koroba is fine. Kala is fine. Uh, there's even some Ierses that I like a lot that would be worth checking out. How much does an ukulele cost? I'll just tell you right off the bat, a good ukulele is between, I, the cheapest one I can find is $29.99, and they go up to, um, generally the ones that people would buy, up to about $1,500. The best beginners, uh, what is best for beginners, soprano or concert ukulele? I like suggesting concert ukuleles, uh, just because then you can always go down a scale for your second instrument, or you can go up to a tenor as your next one. And again, if you buy something like the Flight Travel ukulele, if you buy the TUS model, which is their soprano, it's actually almost a concert. So that's kind of a bonus there too. Is it easy to play the ukulele? It is easy to start playing the ukulele. However, to fully play the ukulele, if you watch a video of uh, Jake Shimabukuru or you watch uh, Tamayne Gardner, for example, or even if you watch Aldrin from the Ukulele Underground, if you think you're going to play like those people, mm, that's, that's not an overnight thing. That's years and a lifetime of dedicated practice. So like a few other instruments, it's really easy to get your foot in the door and having fun and singing and playing but to get good at it is going to take time and work. So it is not the easiest instrument to learn and master. So let's take a look at their conclusion. The best beginner ukulele for everyone is different depending on their music style, budget, or many other factors. We have reviewed the five best ukuleles for beginners in detail. Most of the ukuleles are for folks who are on a budget. Because beginner let travel, uh, beginner level ukuleles, ukis, ukuwes, help you to explore the instrument and serve the purpose well. For advanced players, these instruments will not work at all. That's also not true. Um, you can watch some of these advanced players. Now, they will usually have contracts with a particular brand at that point, an advanced player uh, that's a professional. But they can pick up one of these instruments and they can make it sound amazing. So, uh, let's see. However, irrespective of the platform, which means regardless of the brand, just make sure you have done sufficient research before buying ukulele at the same time. Beware of overthinking, too, as buying the first ukulele is all about fun experimentation. Yes, I agree with that. Now, I just also want to make a note here. Let's see if I can... I, I can't let you see the whole screen here. As an Amazon associate, ukulele advisor, ukulele advisor earns from qualifying purchases. So in other words, uh, just like the Uke Stuff channel has a link in the description below where you can click on products that I recommend, and if you buy it from me, it sends a percentage to... Uh, this work, that's great. I don't really trump it up a lot, but a blog post like this is intended that if you buy the instrument from here, they're going to make some money from it. Now, I'm not against that, and it's clearly stated here on the bottom, even though you can't see the whole thing, but be aware there's a danger at times when a blog recommends an instrument that doesn't exist really in the catalogs anymore, or they're ignoring complete brands. I will say that sometimes we get caught up as reviewers in certain brands, and it's easy to do. It's easy to cut on blinders and be like, oh, it's another, again, like I like flight. It's another flight, it's gonna be awesome. Now it's possible at some point you're gonna come across a flight that isn't awesome. Not likely, but it's possible. Or you'll say, I had a bad experience with this ukulele, so they're all gonna be bad. That also isn't always true. So it's really important to have an open mind. Whenever you're reviewing a, a review like this, if you're gonna use one of these, please look at a bunch of different factors. And by the way, Amazon reviews are generally kind of worthless. For example, a person will just post, I sent it back, it wouldn't stay in tune. It's an ukulele, they take a while to settle. We, we've already talked about that. Just because you think that it should automatically tune and stay in tune. That isn't how the strings work. They're made of nylon or they're made of plastic materials and they stretch over time. Every player tunes. Watch these professional players in the performance. They will stop at various times in their performance and retune. It's part of what they do. So keep that in mind. So the five best ukuleles for beginners and complete buying guide. Can't recommend it to you. Maybe they'll keep adjusting and learning and sharing some better recommendations in the future. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.